Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full solo playthrough of Long Shot the Dice Game. Setup is super easy. Just get all eight of these horsies. You put them right here behind the finish line. The game comes with three different sets of horse cards. I'm using the set that's recommended for your first play. You then want to take a random player board and the solo board. This is for Roland Wright, our AI opponent. Get your dice, a pen, and then you want to take these starting cards. You want to shuffle them, give yourself one, and give Roland one. You're then going to mark off exactly what it says here. So we're going to mark off that six, this seven, that two, and this four. And then in the three spot, we're going to put a three. And in the five spot, we're going to put a three. For Roland, you're going to ignore this upper part. You're just going to look at this part and put that on their sheet. So a three in the four and a three in the six. You can then get rid of those. We start the game with 12 bucks. You just put it right there. And Roland starts with 20. And there we go. Now we're all ready to begin. In the solo game, you're always going to be the first player. And on your turn, you just take the dice and you roll them. Okay, so we're showing that the five horse is going to move two spaces. So we go ahead and do that. One, two... After you move the five horse, you look at the five horses card and it shows down here what other horses get some secondary movement. So it shows the one horse will get to move forward one space and the four horse will also get to move forward one space. So every time the five horse moves, the one and the four will also get to move. Now we get to take one action and we have a few that we can choose from. We can buy the horse that was rolled. We can bet on the horse that was rolled. We can mark the helmet, or we can mark the jersey of that horse. Or we could take that number and mark it off in this concession matrix. Now I'll explain how all those work as we go, as we do them, rather than just explaining them all at once. For now, though, I think I'd like to purchase this horse. We start with 12 bucks and right here it shows up here how much it costs. So that number five horse is going to cost six bucks. So we'll just erase that. Get a nice six there and we can take this horse into our play area. Owning a horse does two things. First of all, if at the end of the race it finishes in first, second or third place, we'll get some money, which is points. So first place is worth 35 bucks. Second is 25, and third is 15. The second thing we get by owning a horse is we get to use their special ability. And for Charlie Horse here, this has a concession special ability. So when we complete a horizontal row in our concession area, we'll be able to move any horse back one space. We'll get to see more about the concession area here in a little bit. For now, that was our action and we're done. You then go over to Roland right here and you look at their little decision matrix. So we look at the two spot because that's what was rolled. We go down to the five and we just do what it says. So Roland's going to bet two dollars each on the two lead horses. Well, right now five is in the lead. That's going to be two. And one and four are equal. And anytime there's a tie, Roland's going to go for the lowered numbered horse. So in this case, the one. So this is where we track the bets. For us, it's right here. So we have uh, two starting bets on horse three and horse five. Roland just spent four bucks doing that. So we have to subtract that from their total. And there we go. That was their one action. And then you just take the dice and roll again. It's that simple. Ooh, so we got the six horse moving two spaces. One, two. We look at the card and we see here that the two and the three are going to get some secondary movement. And now we get to do an action. Well, we technically have enough money to buy that horse, but I'm not so sure that I'm in the mood for that. I think... What I'd rather do is do a jersey action. So for a jersey action, you go to the horse that was rolled, which is the six, and you mark off this little jersey spot right there. What that lets you do is go to that horse's card and mark off 
one of the numbers down here. And I'm gonna mark off the five. So now in the future, whenever a six is rolled, the five horse will get to move forward, get that secondary movement along with the two and the three that were there from the beginning. So I just helped my five horse get a little bit faster, hopefully. Now, as you can see, you can only do that once per horse in the game. Okay, let's see what Roland's doing. Two, six. He would place a free $1 bet on each of his owned horses. So if he, any horses that he owned, he would put a $1 bet on it. And because it says free, it wouldn't deduct from his total. Now he doesn't own any horses, so he's not able to take that action. And anytime he's unable to take the action that's uh, on the matrix, he just does this little star action that's at the bottom. So in this case, he's going to advance whichever horse he has the highest bet, he's going to advance that horse two spaces. Well, four and six are tied, so he's gonna do four. One, two, and four takes the lead. All right. Two's moving two. One, two. We go to the two card and we are super happy to see that five is already marked off on there. So five gets that secondary movement. Excellent. The two is far too expensive for us to buy. We only have six bucks. We could bet on the two, but instead, I think I'm gonna do a concession action. I'm gonna take that two and I'm just gonna mark it off here. And I'm interested in getting these marked off for a couple of reasons. One, my Charlie horse, that's their special ability. If I can complete a horizontal row, I can move a horse back one. But also, anytime you complete a horizontal or a vertical row in this concession area, you can come down here and you can get one of these concession bonuses. And there's all sorts of things here, mainly this money. This is the way that you can get some more money so you can play some more bets, buy some more horses. You can also move some horses forward and back. You can place some free bets, a free $3 bet on a horse. Here, you can even just take any horse that you want for free. And then here you can do either a, uh, a helmet or a jersey action on any horse that you want. Filling out this concession area and getting these bonuses is really important. And I'd like to do that earlier rather than later. So we're just gonna mark that one off. Let's see what Roland's doing. Two, two, they would bet $3 on whichever owned horse was in the lead at that point. Again, they don't own any horses yet, so they're just gonna advance. Yeah, the one with the highest bet. Once again, that's the four, so that's moving forward two more spaces. Man, maybe we should, uh, we should try to invest in the four maybe a little bit. It's gonna be favored by Roland. Okay, the six is moving forward three. We like seeing this. One, two, three. This is gonna move the two forward, the three forward, and because we marked that off, it's moving our five forward as well. Hmm, now a part of me might want to bet on this on this six horse here, to be honest with you. I kind of like it. Yeah, I tell you what, we're gonna bet on that six horse. Now, when you're doing a bet, you can bet one, two, or three bucks. In this case, I'm gonna bet three. And you can add it to any previous bet. So we didn't have a previous bet on the six horse, so we're just going to do three. But for instance, if we were betting on the five, we could increase it to a six. There's no limit to how much you can bet. Just for each action, you can only bet one, two, or three at the most. We're then gonna subtract that from our total, so we only have three bucks left. And at the end of the game, these horses are gonna pay out depending on whether they were first, second, or third based on the odds that are shown here. So for instance, that six horse, if it comes in first, we're gonna take however much we've bet and multiply it by seven. If it comes in second, we'll multiply it by six. And if it comes in third, we'll multiply it by five. And if it has at least crossed this no bet line here, then we'll get our money back. We'll multiply it by one and we won't lose any money. If it hasn't reached that no bet line, we'll just lose our money at the end. And that line is important because we cannot bet on horses once they've crossed that line 
unless we've marked off that helmet space. And that's what that's for. When you mark off that helmet space, that means that you can bet on the horse, even if it's crossed that no bet line. However, you can never bet on a horse once it's finished the race. Let's see what Roland is up to here. We got the three column and the six. Gain $1 for each X marked on the lead horse. Okay, again, we have four and six are tied. So we're gonna go to the four horse. Only has one mark on it. So it's just gonna get a dollar. 16 goes to 17. Let's go. Okay, that number's a little hard to read, but that is the three. And it's gonna move two spaces. One, two. We don't mind that, because we've bet on that horse. And it looks like the one is moving. Now, the last little thing that I haven't explained is what these little horseshoes are right here. You can mark off one of these to change the number on that die to whatever you want it to be. If we really wanted to buy a different horse or if we really wanted to, you know, mark off a different spot on this concession, we could do that by spending one of these. Might be a little early for that. I'm going to jersey again. I'm going to jersey that three and... Let's go ahead and mark the five off again. We're gonna go all in on the five. Let's see if we can't get that push to uh, to the first place here. Get that 35 bucks for coming in first. Okay, Roland, two, three, bet one on each owned horse. Again, no orange horses, so we're gonna do this. And the four is gonna move forward two. Man, that four, every time we roll a two, he's just gonna keep doing that. Oh yeah, we rolled our five, but we only got a one. That's too bad. Five goes forward, one goes forward, and the four goes forward. Man, that's a shame. Well, we could jersey the five and mark the five here. That way it would go forward again anytime we roll it. That is definitely something we could do. I really need to get some of these concessions done too. Now, we're gonna stick with our plan here. We're gonna jersey the five. Keep doing that five, okay. One in five, Roland's gonna buy a horse. And because it shows that little die symbol, that means that you roll this and that's gonna determine which horse it wants to buy. Oh, the four horse, that was an unfortunate roll. Oh no. So it's buying that, costs eight bucks, nine left. Oh no, that is not good. For Roland, they completely ignore any special abilities on the horse. They don't worry about that at all. Okay. 7-2. Finally. 7 hasn't left the gate yet, but it's decided to start racing. That's going to move the 1 and the 3, which we're happy to see. Man, do we just keep doing this jersey and just keep trying to get... Yeah, we're going all in on this five. Let's just stick with the plan. Two, seven. Player's lead owned horse goes back two spaces. Are you kidding me? So we're the player. Our horse that's in the lead of the ones that we own. We only own one. That's five. It's going to go back two spaces. Wow. That. Oh, no. This is bad. 7-3. Oh, man. 7 has woken up. 1, 2, 3. And look at this. 1 and 5. Maybe we should... Maybe we're... Let's bet on the 7, you know? It's a long shot here. If you look at these odds, you can see the 1 only pays out 5 times the amount of the bet if it gets into first. But 7 and 8 here pay out 9 times. And that's because they're the longer shots. The lower the number, the better shot of winning because of how these are distributed, how these secondary movements are distributed. So the seven is a long shot, but it's doing quite well. Yeah, you can see here the seven and the eight don't have any secondary movement. Hmm, maybe it's a little hasty to start betting on the seven, actually. I tell you what, we're gonna start doing some of these concessions. So let's just mark that off. We're going to try to knock a few of these out somehow. Okay. All right. What's this guy doing? Three and seven. 
This says that it's going to take whichever horse it owns that is in the lead. And right now it only has one horse, so it's going to take that four. It also happens to be <laughs> leading the race. And it wants to mark a four in one of these other to create one of those secondary movements. So we're going to roll this die to see which horse it wants to mark the four on. Yeah, and it's going to mark it on the seven. So we go to the seven horse and we mark that off. So Roland's doing sort of what we've been doing and trying to get its horse to move faster. Oh, that's six again. Well, we've bet on it now, so we're not too sad about that. Six moves forward two. The two moves. Getting a little crowded here. The three moves. And our five moves. This eight horse is just does not care. Not interested in racing today. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. I'm just going to mark off that six. We got to start making some hay on these uh, concessions here so we can get some of these bonuses. We need more money. Okay, six and two. Free $1 bet on each of its owned horses. Only owns one, but it's going to do a free $1 bet. It is more and more imperative that we keep four from <laughs> winning. Oh, we rolled the six again. One, two. And the two moves forward. The three. And our beloved five. Well, we don't have any more sixes here. We could use one of our horseshoes to do any other number. I kind of think I'm liking the six here. I want to bet on it some more. In fact, we're going to spend all of our money, the last of our three bucks, and we're going to go hard in on the six. Get in on it a little bit before it crosses that no bet line. And here we go. We rolled a six and a two again, so it's going to do the same thing and just get a free $1 bet. Ah, the eight. The eight woke up. But just one. Oh, no. And the two and the four are going to move. Yeah, we didn't really want to see that, did we? Well, we like the eight. This is a good... That's a good spot for us. So we'll just mark off that. And now if we can get a three there, we'll have that column. We can move a horse back one and we can take a reward. That's going to be good. Eight and one. Okay, it's going to try to buy another horse. So let's see... Oh, wants to buy eight. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so it's going to buy that for four. Go down to five. Sucker! <laughs> you just bought the worst horse. Dummy. Wow, six, two again. How many times have we rolled that? Amazing. One, two. The two... Three, five. Oh man, I want to buy the six horse, but I have no money. One last little thing to keep in mind. If you have marked off both the helmet and the jersey of a single horse, that is worth five points at the end of the game, five bucks. Think instead, I'm going to mark off a horseshoe. And I'm going to turn that into a three so that I can mark this off. And when we complete a horizontal row, we can move any horse back one space. Well, we definitely want to move this four back one space. Then we can take one of these bonuses. And I'm tempted by the money, but, you know, we could also just cross that one off right there. That just lets us get any horse we want. And we could just grab the six horse. I kind of like that, you know. I think I'm going to do that. I really want that horse. So we're going to cross that off. And we're going to take Miracle Worker. We get a special ability, a win bought special ability. We can mark any one of these concession spaces or a helmet or a jersey on any horse. I think I want to mark this spot off on the concession. That's going to give us a complete column, which means we can get another bonus. Ooh, I don't know what I want to do. Maybe just getting some money right now, I think, might be the best thing to do. So I'm just going to get seven bucks. That'll give us a little bit of flexibility. 
And we've seen this before. It's going to place a free $1 bet on each of their honed horse. So on the 8 and on the 4. Not up to a 6. All right. Things are starting to look up. Ooh, the three is moving forward, too. I like that. One, two. That moves the one and the five. Excellent. And what do we want to do with this three? Hmm. Well, we have a three right there we could cross off. That's not too bad, you know, because we have that one we want to cross off. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Although we have money and we could bet on that three right now. We can't buy the three because it costs eight. No, I like these concession bonuses right now. Yeah. I'm going to cross that out for right now. Two, three. Okay. Oh, it's doing the same thing. It's going to place a one bet on each of its owned horses. But it's not a free one, so it's going to cost it. So that's two. That's a seven. And we'll be down to three bucks. Says you need a uh, dice tray. Okay, there we go. Six and a three. Well, that just couldn't have been better, could it? One, two, three. It's gonna move the two, the three, and the five. So now the problem is I can't bet on this six, but if I were to cross that, I could. I'm gonna use another one of my horseshoes and we're gonna make it a one so that I can do that. We've now completed a horizontal row and a vertical column, so we're going to get two bonuses. We're also going to get to move any horse we want back one. I cannot use one of these concession bonuses in order to move that horse across the line. In order to move across the finish line, it has to be through a natural roll of the dice or one of these secondary movements. Now, I could do this 2-2 two, two and move it sort of right up against the line, but I can't finish it with one of these bonuses. But with the 2-2, two, two, I could move the 3 and the 5 forward too. That would be really cool. Yeah, I like that. I want to do this plus 2, plus 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, like that. And then I just want to do the plus 3. 1, 2, 3. I think if I can just get these across the line and, and finish the game, it doesn't matter how much I've bet, right? Because <laughs> I would have all of these bonuses and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat Roland pretty easily. That's the thinking anyway. Now we'll see. That might, uh, that might come back and bite me. So the three and the six. So he's going to gain $1 for each X on the lead horse. The lead horse is, well, the five and the six are tied. So the five, so it's going to get three bucks because there's three marks on it. Okay, come on, three, five, or six. No, not the four. <laughs> one, two, three. That was the worst one. It's gonna move the two. And that's it. Urgh. I'm just gonna mark this off. Three, four, just getting two bucks. Okay, I don't mind that, that's not bad. Three, five, or six. Come on, three, five, or six. Or seven. Five, there it is. Five, two, one, two, and in. Perfect. So what else moves? One, four, and five, it would move itself, but it's already in. Yes, so when it crosses, you move it into that first place. That's going to be 35 bucks for us because we own that one. That is amazing. Now, we can't bet on it anymore because it's already finished. What? We could mark off that five. Yeah, we should totally do that. Then when that if that one comes, and we have a horseshoe left, so we can turn anything into a one. We can get two more. I love it. I love it. Getting two more of those uh, bonuses will be great. That's exactly what we're doing. Okay, five and two. So Roland says here he wants to bet $2 each on two lead horses. 
the two horses that are in the lead are in this no bet zone. I'm interpreting this, and I could be wrong about this. I'm assuming that that means he cannot complete that action, which means that he will actually do this default action, which is advance uh, a horse that he has the highest bet on two spaces, which will be the four, one, two. I believe that's how you interpret that, but I again, I could be wrong about that. Okay, let's go. Ooh, the one. Moves two. Oh, yes. And that one moves the six. One away. Ooh, man, this is getting tight. One is exactly what we wanted. That's amazing. So we can cross that out. And boom, we're getting two. Well, we're getting two bonuses, but we also did a horizontal row. So let's move this four back. I have consistently been moving that back and it's still right there. Okay, what bonuses do we want? I could move it back three. <laughs> I mean, that just makes all kinds of sense. Yeah, yeah. So my first bonus is to move this back three. One, two, three, get out of my face. And what do we do for the second one? See, the problem is these that we want to bet on are in the bad, in the no bet zone, and we have no helmets. Eh, I'm going to do this so that maybe I can bet on the three. Yeah, why not? Two, one, bet two on the lead horse. So again, I'm, I'm assuming that means that they can't do that. They're gonna instead advance this two spaces. Yeah, I hope that's right. Ooh, the two. One, two. The two would move the five, but the five's already in. Well, I think it only makes sense to use that last one so that we can just completely fill this out. That's gonna be two more bonuses. We can do another negative one. I'm gonna do this minus two, minus two. One, two. One, two. And then let's get this free bet here. That's giving us a free $3 bet on a horse of our choice. And we'll do it on the three now that we have that helmet. So we can make that a six. So this says to bet three on owned lead horse. So that would be the four. So it's gonna bet three on the four going up to 10. And it didn't say free, so. It's gonna go down to five. Ooh, seven. Seven, three. One, two, three. And, oh, look at this. Oh, there's no six on the, <laughs> dang. The one's gonna move. The three, the four, and the fives are done. Urgh. Well, I think we should just mark the helmet because that's worth five bucks at the end of the game. So we'll do that. Seven and three. Okay, so it's going to want to mark a four and we roll this to see which horse in the one. Okay. We really need to roll a, uh, a six or a three or something that will move the six. Oh, there's not much, is there? Oh, only a one will move the six. I have not been marking that off properly. Oh no, four, three. One, two, three. That moves just the two. That was the worst roll. Okay, do I bet on the four? No, you know what I do? I'm gonna mark that and mark a six. That way, if the four's rolled again, at least our six can get get home. That's, the best, that's all we can do. Okay. Three, four, just making two bucks. Come on. Two. No. One, two. Okay, we're doing the same thing. Two. 
Gotta get that six home. So two, two, bet three on, okay, it's doing three more on the four. It's up to 13. <laughs> Not good. We really need that six to come in before the four does or we're in big trouble. Yes, six, one. <laughs> Boom! That was amazing. The two goes, and the three, and the five would go. Ooh. Well, we can't bet on it. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll just mark this helmet off. As, as far as I know, you can mark the helmet and the jersey of a horse that's already finished the race. You just can't buy it or bet on it. So we'll do that, because that's, like I said, worth five points at the end of the game. Six and one. Okay, it wants to mark a four again on the two. Okay, this is getting scary. We need to roll a six or a seven or a three. Yes, seven. <laughs> one, two, three. And you can see here, the one moves, the three moves, the four moves, and the five would move. There we go. We get to finish out the round after all three of those spots of first, second, and third have come in. We finish the round and then it's over. So we've done good here. What are we going to do with this seven? There's really not much we can do. No reason to bet on it. One of the final things, one thing I haven't mentioned is that if you don't can't do any action, you can always erase one of these wilds so that you could use it in the future. And actually, I suppose we could do something kind of funny. Instead of doing that, we could buy that seven. So I think I will. I'm going to buy that seven. And you think, now, why would you do that? Well, it only costs four. And it has a special ability that says, at scoring, gain $2 for each horse that you have a bet on. Well, we have bets on three horses, so that's going to be worth 6 bucks at the end of the game. We just sort of netted two, $2 $2 there. All right, let's see what uh, Mr. Roland's doing here. 7-3. Oh, it's going to mark on a box. That's not going to make any difference. Okay, we are done. We have reached the end of the game. Now we're going to tally up our score. And we're going to have a massive score here because the first thing we check is any money we get from victory of owned horses. Well, we own the five horse. So that's 35. And we own the second place horse, which is 25. So that's going to be 60 just from that. Here we get $5 for each pair of uh, helmet and jersey. We have one, two, three of those. 15. We get to cash out our bets here. So the three horse came in third. The five came in first. And the six came in second. So those are going to be our multipliers. So you can see here, we got four times six, 24. We have three times seven, 21. And we have six times six, 36. Altogether, that is 6081. And then you just have your leftover cash. And altogether, that is 159, I believe, if I've done my math correct there. Okay, let's see how Roland did. He gets nothing for this. The number one didn't even cross. The line, so, is getting nothing. The four did cross the line, so it's just getting 13 for that. You just get your money back. The five got first place, so that's going to be 14. Six got second place, so that's 18. And the eight <laughs> just went one space, so that was a complete bust. So what's that? 27, 45. Five, four bucks, 49. Well, there you go, everyone. We completely destroyed Roland Wright. 
We won by 110. That is by far the most I've ever beat Roland by. Uh, so it's usually a lot closer than that. Hopefully I didn't do anything wrong there. I might have uh, I might have made a mistake that might account for that terrible showing. But, uh, you know, it's, it's horse racing. Sometimes the luck's on your side, sometimes it's not. But there you go. That is a complete solo play of Longshot the Dice Game. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.